Hello everybody. Uh, this is the video lecture on thermal model. Uh, in the thermal model, uh, what is our objective? Let me start with uh, writing thermal model. And in thermal modeling, what is our objective is uh, that is very important that what is the objective of modeling? We know that we have a load. Load can be of any type and uh, this load I have a problem of how to make a thermal model of that load. So what we can do is we can categorize this load into some standard type. So what I can say is that let us say there is some standard categories. And in the standard categories, we can classify and learn later. We can divide in terms of the classes of motor duty. Classes of motor duty. And what we are going to do is that uh, for all the classes, uh, usually it is eight number of classes are defined. For every one, we can uh, form a thermal model thermal model and specify a motor ratings so uh, like our objective is uh, this uh, here our objective is let me change the pen so here our objective is that whatever the load is given to us our objective is what will be the suitable motor and what will be its motor rating so that for whatever kind of load will have a certain kind of motor uh, we can have a motor with a specific motor rating that is the sole object so let us see how it works so uh, before that I would like to show you a differential equation suppose tau y by dt plus y is equal to k. It's a simple differential equation, single order. So what we can write, y is equal to k1, it will be power minus t by tau plus k1 to the power minus t by tau. Uh, this is what we can say, this is the initial value. This is the initial value and this is the final value. And this is a time constant, tau is a time constant, so we can say this is nothing but a time constant. And uh, what is the statement of this is that we can say, let us uh, say any rise in this value curve. So this is the time constant of this, we change the pen. I can say uh, this is the time constant of this. This is the time constant tau 1 and uh, if this is a steady state and let us say this is a steady state value is k and initial value is k1 so it will rise and it will settle somewhere depending on the time how much time we are taking. So if we go to infinite time we will settle at k value. So what is my sole objective is that what is the output so this is my output y with respect to time t will be y will be somewhere with this k value will exponentially k1 value is exponentially decaying and the final steady state value is exponentially rising. So this is the meaning of the differential equation what you can see is this is the differential equation we can say in this way. Okay. So it is helpful, let us uh, develop what is the balance equation, what is that? Heat absorbed is equals to heat developed minus heat dissipated. Now this is a very usual formula, heat absorbed is obviously equals to in this form. So let us choose the pen. 
So let us say heat developed is given in terms of P1 and multiply with dt, I will tell you the meaning of what everything, minus heat dissipated is, um, heat developed in a body is, uh, P1 is a heat developed, so I can write in terms of P1 is in uh, like heat developed in joules per second, that is in terms of wattage, watts and uh, dt is the time taking uh, so the ultimate objective is this two multiplication should be coming in terms of joules so that is done now heat dissipated is given in terms of theta d a dt theta is the temperature uh, theta is the temperature and d is the dissipation constant specific heat dissipation specific heat dissipation this is the specific heat dissipation that is given in terms of joules per degree centigrade per meter square per second so in this specific heat dissipation i multiply here uh, theta per degree centigrade then meter square area then second is uh, in term, by second dt Heat absorbed is given by W, H and D theta. So here H is, first let us say what is this H. So H is specific heat, specific heat. So its unit is joules per kg per degree centigrade. So obviously I will multiply weight and the temperature. So here weight and temperature is multiplied. So once, uh, what is this equivalence is, all the terms are is in joules. Everything is in joules here. All the terms, these are all in joules. So let us simplify this equation as WH pi theta d a, no, not theta d a. Uh, let us say, write uh, it properly, multiply by d dot a into d theta by dt is equals to p1, p1 is a heat developed in wattage, w divided by dA and dt dt cancel out minus and here it will be equals to uh, what remain is uh, theta, this is the remain. So I can write, rewrite this, let us say these terms uh, is equal to tau, so what I can simplify this as tau d theta by dt plus theta is equals to P1 by D into A. So let us say this is again simplified as tau D theta by DT plus theta is equal to theta SS. So now this equation what I get is a simple equation where uh, we can relate this into single order equations and now I can write this answer as, let us change the pen what we can write is here that theta is equal to initial value let us say theta 1 to the power minus t by tau plus theta ss 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau. So this is what my equation looks like. So if I draw in a figure uh, type what I can draw is that so theta 1 is the initial value so change the pen so I can say theta 1 is my initial value, which uh, rises to a certain value and let, uh, so this is my steady state value. So here I have theta SS and here I have theta 1 and this is the value of theta, how to change with time and my time constant is given by here, uh, time constant is given by uh, tau. So this is what we end. Uh, this is the uh, expression for how heat is developed. All this express that how heat developed in machine, right? Uh, when when heat developed means during the loading. So why well, you know that after the heat is developed, when we go for loading, then we go for unloading the motor. When we go for unloading the motor, 
it is not a much difference only a small difference will be there uh, what is the difference we can say let us again relate heat observed observed is equals to heat developed minus heat dissipated uh, dissipated so what we can say like heat observed will be now is will be same wh d theta is equals to heat developed will be obviously during the time of uh, uh, when the load is out the heat developed will be different let us say p1 dash and in the same way dt and then we can say uh, heat dissipated will be equal to same theta d dash will be different and a and dt so uh, what is the change in the previous and this expression is here p dash p1 dash and here d dash so there is not much change so there is nothing more to explain simply let us just rewrite wh by d dash a into p theta by dt yes, everything is very simple so p1 dash by d dash a and minus theta so again just try in a very simple way we can say tau dash is d theta by dt uh, plus theta is equals to theta ss dash so here again this can be very simplified way we can say uh, that what will be our expression our expression is theta is equal to theta uh, 2 and theta 2 is the initial condition uh, theta 2 e to the power minus t by tau dash uh, plus theta s s dash 1 minus e to the power minus t by uh, tau dash so this is what my expression is and how does it look like is that if uh, my as a draw so let us say um, it will just like look like a decaying function where the final expression is theta ss dash initial value is say theta 2 and uh, this is how my expression of theta changes with time so what is my objective is the previous and this one is that to combine these two so if i combine these two in a single go so i can draw uh, with a different pen let us say green and i can uh, this increase and then so we can decrease it so let us say this is not rising to a final value and the final value is let us say these are the final steady state value here and this is the final steady state when we rise so i can say theta ss is over here and theta ss dash is over here theta 1 is over here, theta 2 is over here and this is the theta and this is the time t and let us say here up to here the time is t1 up to here the time is t2 tau 1 is a time constant and tau 2 is a time constant on the uh, cooling end uh, this way we can solve uh, we can take example uh, from the book with uh, different values of uh, tau 1 tau 2 let us say some values get is there a motor operates in a periodic duty cycle in which it is clutched to a load for 10 minutes that means uh, t1 is equals to 10 minute and then uh, t clutch to run on no load for 20 minutes so t2 is equal to 20 minute uh, then minimum temperature rise is 40 degree centigrade so minimum temperature rises 40 degrees centigrade what is that meaning the theta one is 40 degrees centigrade and uh, heating and cooling time constants are equal so i can say tau one is equal to tau two is equal to tau and uh, have a value of 60 minute so both all are equal and this is equal to in terms of minute all the given like that and uh, when load is decreased continuously the temperature rise is uh, 15 degrees centigrade so what is theta ss dash so theta ss dash is equal to theta ss dash is equal to 15 degrees centigrade and what is asked to you determine maximum temperature rise during the duty cycle so please evaluate 
you will get the answers the maximum temperature rise is theta 2 is equals to